you know, it'd be fairly easy to look back in 2010 at the first half of the year and be able to identify what has happened. But in your professional opinion, what do you see the second half of 2010 looking like? Yeah. And when I look at that and I get that question from a lot of people and really they, they move it out further and say, what's going to happen next year and then the following year? And really you have to look in six to 12 month increments. And you reflect a little bit on what happened the first part of the year. And while we saw some good increases in the sales, we still have, you know, there's a lot of inventory. There's a lot of buyers in the market. So I feel we'll still keep chipping away. But if you look at the next six months, it's probably um, going into a time period where we're going to see a little bit of a slowdown as far as the activity with buyers in there, which makes it critical that people that are out there considering selling over the next six to nine months really take a look and say, is there anything that would keep me from selling in the next three to four months? Because as we move into the latter half of the year, people start looking in different directions. They're worried about the, the holidays and family things and, and, and their focus comes off of investment properties or home shopping until the beginning half of the year. Um, so like I'd mentioned before in the past, one of the best times to list a property or to go ahead and get one on the market is when you identify that you have a need or desire to go ahead and sell. Because I think as we move into the final half of the year, we're going to be fighting even harder to get the buyers that are in the market. And there's some, some things locally here um, with the way the county is handling our foreclosure and our distressed properties that I think could present some challenges. Um, it's not like we don't have foreclosures in the market already in distressed sales, but I think it could present some challenges with the amount of inventory that we may see over the next few months. And you know, one of our biggest challenges in the market right now is the inventory. So we don't need any more of it and uh, you know whatever we can do to to move through that as quickly as possible will be beneficial to all